our immune system is our democracy. Does everyone remember taking Bio 101 in college? My yes. degree was in individualized study, so. Okay, so uh, you've got your T cells, what right? What are T cells? <laughs> oh, um, <God>. wow. <laughs> The T cells are the first defense against infection. It's like on Game of Thrones, baby, and the T cells are the Night's Watch. Oh. Go on, he's got it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the T cells buzz around the bloodstream looking for trouble, sounding the alarm at the first sign of infection. Uh, calling for Daenerys Targaryen and her dragon. Yes, I see. <laughs> now, unlike most other viruses which attach themselves to all different kinds of human cells, HIV attaches itself exclusively to the T cells, the very cells that are meant to be guarding against such infection. Now, with the T cells compromised, the body's autoimmune system shuts down. So, getting back to Eric's analogy, if, if America is a body and its citizenry are its cells and its T cells are its democracy, then what about Donald Trump? That where would he fit in this analogy? Because you could say that he is HIV. And like HIV, he's replicating his genetic material from tweet to tweet, person to person, institution to institution across the entire nation. Now, consequently, America is now falling prey to opportunistic infections. Its immune system had once at least been able to fight fear, propaganda, homophobia, sexism, transphobia, white nationalism. <laughs> and like any person with untreated HIV, this nation has developed the American immune deficiency syndrome. Maybe we should call it what it is and diagnose it properly. America has AIDS.